Welcome back, everybody, to another installation of the Backwater Bastards in, in space. space. In space? In space. I did that one really straight. Is that all right? Yeah. Be- no gimmicks. It was good. It was good. Other, than, other than the basic fucking gimmick of like doing that big long space. I mean, I feel like I'm going to be upset because I'm not going to hear Tay do space. That's gonna. Ha- that's really gonna throw me off. In space. There we go. Now, now the in, episode can begin. Space. It needs. It needs to have the space. <laughs> space. <laughs> space. Space. It is a space. Oh, Dicky, I think I need a recap. I don't know what happened last week. Well, I, I do. To I know what up. happened. I can't last what week happened. we had so much action. Yeah, we did. All of it. Tell us. Yeah. Okay. Well, really, just the um the seed. The seed started to sprout. <laughs> And yeah. started to, uh, <laughs> it got a bit spooky. It started messing with people's minds a bit. Uh, Cleo had to step up and be the adult in the room, which she was not. I happy did. About. What yeah. a shit show. I think no, you did great. Well, you and, guys um, were the shit show. And Dr. Z threw the, show. <laughs> threw, the seed out the, threw the seed out the window, basically, leaving yeah, it behind. Decisive in, action. In a very random part of space, somewhere between Dias and Fuck First Nair. You were traveling in, in, hyper, in, uh, in warp speed as well, so it's. Uh, who knows? It could be bloody anywhere. Yeah, it could be, and it doesn't said matter. That the violence of action was in our favor. Yes, but the seed definitely did get a little taste of family Uh-oh. And, and connectivity, and it didn't want to let go. <laughs> Sounds to me doesn't we're in sound, trouble. Uh, yeah, big bad anyone? <laughs> oh, but what but if it's like on, a big on the bad bright that side, misunderstood because it's coming back to us because it loves us. On the bright side, um, Herodotus reaffirmed his um, his connection with um, with Dilbert. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Dilbert has become almost like a like a primary caregiver for the Ovum. No, trusty squire. Bloop, bloop. <laughs> um, <laughs> yes, but um, so really, uh, we we ended the episode with you guys still on your way to First Nair, mm-hmm. the it's semi-independent planet, of course, run by the uh, First First Nairians. First Nairians. First Nairs. Maybe I should come up with a better better sounding name for them. Furs. The people of First Nair. <laughs> Yeah. The United Clans of First Nair. <laughs> first Narcs. Oh, first Narcs. First Narcs. That's, that's, that's <laughs> it. Of which the, um, the, the third moon of um, First Nair is uh, Zarg. No, the second moon. Sorry. The second moon of First Nair is called Zarg Moon. That's cute. That's no moon. <laughs> that's no moon. Um, it's your mama. That's, that's a dick pic. <laughs> but yes. That's a pic. We'll, we, we will begin our episode. The bastards arriving on First Nair. Come down to first. You've been um you've been given coordinates from um from Clan Zarg. Trevor gave you the deets, so you know exactly where you can land, and um you sort of come into the atmosphere. And first near is a um it's a blue and green blue and green planet. Mm. It's got a lot of um lot of oceans, like Canada forests. Of but as you get in <laughs> closer, you see like the um the green, especially the um like all the sort of the, the greenery. Is sort of interspersed with a lot of purple. There's a lot of sort of like dull, rugged purple trees and bushes purple. among the landscape. And you are coming down into like, you know, like a relatively forested area. Like you're not coming down into one of the major cities. And there's just wow. a base. Like kind of looks like a very sort of Spartan looking <laughs> base. <laughs> All right. Big, We're big, long, long gray halls. With a resistance main. Mm. <laughs> First near, um, as Herodotus at least would be um, relatively well glued up, is ruled by a clan chief, or as people of the Terran systems like to refer, uh, a king. Mm. And the clan chief is basically just the you know, the the leader of the only surviving clan of the First Nerians, who were they were not a unified people before the empire empire came along, but they did eventually unify and sort of 
hold on to some semblance of freedom. They're um, they're a completely independent system within the confines of a lot of imperial treaties, mm. which uh, which does involve as well like they are within imperial airspace. So like you know imperial craft are patrolling around. The, the military are effectively always have a presence here. The first near is. You could say it's under occupation, but like it's you know, a they, they, they did, ordered they went there, they went there willingly. <laughs> but Zarg, on the other hand, Zarg Moon, they never submitted. Mm. And as such, so there's the an argument. Looking for. <laughs> there is an argument for it being an entirely um, independent uh, moon. But we cut to the colourful ship, the Grey Dragon, descending down hey, into um, into this base on First Nair. Are we still colorful as the Haradrim? Oh hell yeah! We bring in all the shades. Okay, just wondering. Well, the the, the other side. the other ships are already here because the um, you know the the Haradrim themselves uh, uh, blazed the trail. So it's mm-hmm. just um, it's just a little convoy of the Grey Dragon and of course a honey truck, mm. full of royal honey. <laughs> <laughs> the honey doot, truck, dude, backing up the honey <laughs> truck. <laughs> that's right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we should have put that in the um, in the things to draw this month. <laughs> but yes, um, you you come down and you can see that um, indeed some of the um, clan Zarg are already sort of waiting there to direct you into a um, into a covering. There's a sort of like a like a landing port, but then they sort of direct you into like one of these big long halls. It's got a like a big wide door to let starships in. It is a couple of um, members of clan Zarg that you don't really recognise. Well, it's not that you don't recognize them. You do recognize them. You don't really know their names. Oh. It's time for the spreadsheet. Uh, and we're in front of them? Yeah, well, they're, they're directing the ship oh, they're into directing this the ship, thing. Right. So you, you, you just... <laughs> yeah, right. You come in, landing the ship and driving it in mm-hmm. and coming to a stop inside this um, this hall. And the hall is already is full of ships. There's mostly like some very, very what what would be described as sort of rugged ships. They've, they don't have any fancy paint jobs like yours, but among them are the other ships of your fleet. All right. Hmm. So, lo- looking around, um, can Herodotus uh, sort of see... Just remind me, like, is there an obvious hierarchy among these thugs and villains, or are they sort of more of an anarchist bunch? So the, the members of Clan Zarg, they don't have any, like, clear leader among them. Aside from Harris was, like, a ship's captain. Ah, very good. So, uh, and Tre- Trevor has been the sort of the main, he's been the main sort of, Trevor the pilot has been the sort of main contact with you guys. So as such, he's kind of like their de facto leader as well at the moment. And can I see him? So neither neither Har- Harris nor Trevor are uh, in this in this little garage. Hmm. Okay. There are a pair of Clan Zarg members, um, one of whom is the engineer from the the original mission that you guys uh, met. All right. The other is just sort of a, uh, uh, just, just a woman who you you know as a member of Clan Zarg. You don't know her name or much about her. So have we landed now? So you, feel, you have landed. Okay. <laughs> then Herodotus sort of, as so, soon as the door is open, he just beelines for these people. And he sort of like chops up and goes, Attention! Officer on deck! Salute, you skellywoggles! <laughs> they sort of um, look look at one another a little bit confused and then offer up a... um. Not too ironic looking salute. <laughs> very good, very good, uh, loyal uh, yeoman. Now, mm-hmm, as the Z- as the Zeno said to the explorer, take me to your leader. <laughs> oh, funny you should say that, uh, Harry. Uh, well, oh, oh I, no. I, I, I suppose I suppose I should um, I let we'll let, we'll let you see for yourself. Um, come with us. Oh no, oh my god, what if they picked one and they didn't tell Harry and he, they, Harry... They uh, they're still, Harry he, they're he still told... sworn to me by by legal contract. They can't go f- fuck their but democratic they said, tendencies. They said to Harry that he could be the king. They said to him. Yeah, he is the king. Oh my god, but they went and they did something. Yeah, maybe they chose me a seneschal or some shit, you know? Oh. Oh, uh, well, you know. I will be Cleo <laughs> any usurper is... of my honest... <laughs> but you, Cleo regardless, uh, they 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 lead the way out of the port. I'm you. gonna bring my mobile turret. <laughs> You're gonna bring your mobile turret. Yep. Yeah. Just Her- Herodotus uh, sort of shouts up to the ship, Squire on deck. I'm just bringing like a lot Dilbert of stuff. Dilbert sort of roll, rolling down the down the ramp with um on his 
tanky treads with a um, not not particularly jostled. There's yeah, you know, it's, it's in a little soft blankety uh, blankety um, pram, but the, the the ovum sort of just riding riding atop. And so, <laughs> when he comes driving by, Rod just gets just gets off on the one foot that has the rolly wheels underneath, holds on. And sort of glides <laughs> <and magnanimously. laughs> Oh my god. To victory. Ride. <laughs> <laughs> Following uh, not too far behind, uh, of course, you have Boris as well, who's um, just in yes. his like his, his yes. dirty old uh, overalls, just following along, interested. Like, should I should I wait and look after the thip, or will I be required? Boris, you better come too. You better. This is where you live. You live here now. All right, all right, clear. I'm coming. You bring, just bring some stuff. Just bring a bag of stuff with you. I, th I have one of the things I'm working on with me now. All right, and you just make sure you got like an extra baggie because you know, you never know. We're looking always for stuff to pick up. Remember, don't forget. Of course, forget. um, I, I can leave a beacon and pick it up in the um, in my in my utility vehicle. Oh, should we take the rover? Should we take the rover? How far we got go? Oh no, we're not. We're not going far, folks. It's it's just through these trees over here. Maybe I'll stay with the ship, uh, and like stay in radio uh, contact, because okay. uh, I mean we've got a bunch of shit with these ships here or what? And uh, I don't know. Maybe. Oh my god. Yeah. Okay. Maybe I'll stay with the ship and like <laughs> and like just be on radio with you. So. Uh, oh, no. yeah. we've, we've got. We've got plenty of sentry guns around, Doctor. Oh, right. All right. Reese. Yes, Doctor Z. I, I'm sure you can uh, inform these, uh, what's your names? Looking at the, uh, who, who should Reese talk to about being refitted? Oh, oh I, I'm, I'm Zach. I'm Zach. I'm, right. I'm the head engineer. Zach. Reese. Reese. Zach. Hope you two get along. Brilliant. I'm going to, uh. Can you hear me, me, Zach? That's, oh, that's the ship. Right, yes. Yes, we're we're in we're in contact there. <laughs> Break it. Um, yeah. Well, then in that case, then yeah, I'll uh, I'll I'll follow along. I was just feeling nervous. I was like, oh, are we gonna leave our ship, all our stuff unguarded? Well, because it wasn't we get that somewhere? long ago that you got <laughs> I mean, threatened. You you usually do without giving it a second thought. <laughs> I know. So I was like, oh, I don't want to do it that t this time. But no, you've you've okay. It's safe. So I will. Uh, you almost you almost got jacked recently. I suppose mm. this time we did make a point of like talking about yeah, like both Dilbert and Boris are coming with. So it's like yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely I don't want on its own. Leave Reese on 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 his own. Um, yeah, cool. I'll uh I'll follow along um, then. I'm bringing some food. So um, you, you're led you're led out of the building, and there's a there's sort of a rough path um moving getting through the forest, and the um over here the trees they're actually enormous now that you're down here amongst them. You can see that they they're really high. They're so they're so tall that like um you get the impression that if you hadn't known that this place was here already, it would be very easy to miss it. Can I just quickly ask because I've got it stuck in my head, the uh place that the ship just docked with. You said it was like a long thing. Are these like dockyards? Are they like uh, Viking longhouses in the middle of these jungles? Like they definitely that... have that kind of vibe, yeah. But they're made out of like sort of like a gunmetal, like yeah. And they've just got like, gray, that long gray. kind of a Viking longhouse kind but of I, shape. But I was though. I was thinking very Viking longhouse oh, shape. Oh, cool. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I, uh, that's the vibe I was feeling as well. So. I mean, I feel like I just by saying the word long haul. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, it, I, it pretty I much did that, the yeah. same thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, you, you're you're led um on a like a. Yeah, it's a little bit of a rugged path, but it's um like it's not so rugged that Dilbert can't um drag Herodotus along it um through the forest and not too far. You sort of get around a corner of some, and these trees they're they're immense. Like it would take like sort of all three of you holding hands to like hug yourselves around some of them. Well, that's a picture we have to take before we leave. Yeah. <laughs> Beyond. Beyond. Hopefully, there's, hopefully there's a camera up in the up in the corner that just takes a photo like when you're on a uh, like theme a park ride amusement. and at the end they'll be yeah. like here's a photo of you arriving at the uh, at first now thank you very much for coming <laughs> <laughs> me and Boris both have really large crossbody bags just to, just to carry all the goodies for things that we see along the way yeah they oh actually I might uh, I might use this opportunity to be like uh, uh Boris that yes. um Yes, well, um, it's a shame that you had to um, throw your, that seed out the window. It's, uh, it was, you know. It, you... It's always a sad day when seed. Yes, go <laughs> <laughs> with, with. It's, I was uh... wondering. Was that Boris? Speak up. Yes, well, yes. 
Speak up, boy. Well, it's just, I felt, I felt like uh, the three of us, we were brothers. Yes, well, we were. And, uh, well, I'm not sure that I feel that any longer, Dr. Z. Why, why is that? No, no, no offense. No offense. I, I hope that we get to that that level of relationship again soon. This sucks. You are aware that that was a uh, mind trick happening to you from the seat, though, right? Ah, uh, well, yes. Yes, Cleo did explain it to me. Um, I yes, think we're I not understand. actually... I mean, we could be. We're good friends, Boris, but... Uh, that, that that whole feeling of uh, wanting to walk out and be among the stars, like, you don't think that was a little odd? Well, yes, it did seem a little odd when yes. I thought about it afterwards. Bit odd, wasn't it? A little bit odd. But perhaps perhaps the seed just wanted to... to uh, Kill you? To, well, well, maybe. Yes. Well, I guess we'll never know. Boris, Clearly. if that's what family is, I would rather be friends. So, uh... <laughs> Cleo's just listening to this and the look on her face is like mm -hmm. yes, yes. Okay. so um, I hope that uh, next time you fancy going out for a little walk you'll uh, have the sense of putting on a suit first why don't y'all write that down so you remember it for next time yes good idea Bo Boris, Boris write like, that down pulling out like a little, <laughs> like, little personal device and like scribbling away on a little touch screen like, a note to yourself Cleo's just gonna clap him on the back and be like yeah that's alright good you know, good job, Boris. You trying? <laughs> Bless him. Bless him. Anyway, you you finally get to like another of these halls that um that Zach and uh, the woman alongside with him lead you into, and you step in and like suddenly like all faces are on you and you can see the entirety of Clan Zarg all mm -hmm. sat around a um a very long series of tables. There's a, a pair of tables, in fact. They're all sort of gathered around. They're all drinking out of like these sort of hollowed out like wooden flagons oh. like, kind of like sort of logs oh yes and the um the, the entire place as well it's kind of um the, the decor has got like a lot of um like sort of evergreen kind of stuff going on oh cleo and and boris are like gonna walk in and be like hey and wave and they're gonna start throwing out cylindrical fried items to everyone at the tables from their bags <laughs> cylindrical fried items yeah i feel like this is a puzzle Cyl fried <laughs> are they, what, are what they, are like, they? like slices of tentacle or something just 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 know. like screws like it reminds cucumbers? me of egg rolls but or who knows spam <laughs> maybe you know pool maybe. noodles it so, is fried. So, so egg roll this kind of thing. That kind of makes sense. Oh, it is egg fried, roll. and it is a cylinder. Yeah, so it's a pool noodle. <laughs> might it might be? We don't know, but they're they're hot. And they're in these huge bags, and they're getting tossed to everybody. And they oh. taste it. Thanks, Cleo. It was getting a little bit uh, drink heavy around here. Um, so I guess now that you guys are here, um, I guess we should. And they're all everyone's sort of like intoning and sort of looking in one direction awkwardly, like. You know, sort of nudging your vision towards one one end of one table mm. where a woman stands and she's um, dressed kind of like in just a very utilitarian flight suit, but she's wearing like, a really ornate fur cape oh. over the top. Mm. Like, her hair is sort of like braided with lots of little um, bits of jewelry in the ends of them. Both Cleo and Dr. Z actually recognize her as a projection that they saw at the spaceport. Yes. In uh, New Terra. Mm. Yes. And Herodotus, of course, recognizes her just from his knowledge of, uh, of local politics as the clan chief or king of First Nair. Mm. God. <laughs> oh, okay, so I'm sort of it. by her size, you can see there's, there's actually like a couple of heavily armed people that you don't actually recognize, also wearing um, these big fur capes, although not nearly as uh, grand and over the top as hers. Hmm. Wait, first and foremost, female king? Yes, female, yes, female king? absolutely. All right, all right, all right, so I mean, they, they, they call they call her the clan chief. Oh, okay. The okay. king. No, no, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, this is not about the patriarchy, though, of course, Herodotus knows where no, his priorities are. No, it's about being, it's, it's just, about you know, being like, high king. No, no, you know, whatever. High king. High Hargo, king. The destroyer. Oh, wait, she's the king. I can become the, uh, Herodotus can become the high. You can be the well, she's the only Emperor. the king of First Nair as well, and First Nair's <laughs> First Nair's throne does not extend to Zarg Moon. That's um, no, that's but you know, neighbors and fences be... and so on. What to yeah. do? What to do? What I'm thinking. What if Clee and Z? What if Clee 
Oh no. Clee and Z. Clee and Z? That's actually Clee and Z. That is the What if name. Cleo and Z <laughs> no, no. Clee and Z. sell Herodotus to her like a wedding <laughs> deal and we. <laughs> I'm loving it. Look, oh, this, dude! If you sell it, like you've you, you set like this whole the, thing up, <laughs> like a like a wedding agreement between our people. Oh, that could Wait, work. What is? We've just seen who it is, and this is what your mind is going to. <laughs> I mean, yeah, <laughs> straight to it. Makes sense. Hey, I mean, like Herodotus is attracted <laughs> to power. Yeah, yeah above so all I, else. Look, I'm just <laughs> giving you one of land. my thousand ideas. I've just distributed the egg rolls. And we've <laughs> just seen a person. Herodotus's bride. <laughs> the bride of <laughs> the bride of mental rock. Look, look, I'm just we'll go back to the reality in a moment. But he has just left Monty. He needs a rebound. <laughs> why not That's a king? Probably why, why not a it's king? It's just it's probably the why he's been struggling. You guys just had a psychic break. I had to clean it up. I'm looking for a way to get both of you saddled with responsibility so that hey, the next I already time have it the happens. Eggs. Come on, dude. <laughs> I have the anyway. herbum. I have life. Anyway, let's uh, I'm going to keep walking now that I've distributed my egg rolls. I would like to meet the woman. All right. I think that is I think Herodotus is feeding off of that energy. I mean, originally I was thinking, you know, uh <laughs> Just, just, just false disbelief and melodrama. Sort of going. Let's what, scope what, it what, out. What, what Let's this? scope it Get out. Get off of my throne. But, uh, but I think, but I think yeah, this, uh, this, this, um, <laughs> this late brush with the with the fraternity has has mellowed him in certain ways. It's mellowed him. It's mellowed him. It's, and he's got an egg roll in his that's hand. That's true. So, he's I not mean, hungry. You so can't, he's not hangry. You can't. You can't be mad when you got an egg roll. Cleo's gonna drop one like this. Zoop. Straight into the honey boy. Oh, good one. Now, okay, so tell me, tell, tell me this, Dick. <laughs> Do I see anyone around who I can address by name? Yes, yes. So, um, there's Harris and Trevor, both of whom you know quite well. Um, and um, oh god, you, I don't really. And Billy Boy. Those are the only ones okay. whose names you know. So I'll go with Trevor. That sounds good enough. Because because I've already intimidated him way back when. And, so it's fine. And um, yeah. yeah. And ha Harris yeah. and Trevor, and um, also Harris's daughter, uh, are oh, all no. stand, all sort of um, sitting and standing very near to where the clan chief is as well, at that end of the table. Trevor, front and center, quick now, boy! Harry, Harry! Oh, the beings of the hour, the three of you. It's um, I'm sure you know uh, who this is to my left. Uh, he sort of comes and like sort of snaps to attention and gives her like a little salute nods behind him towards the clan chief who mm -hmm. she doesn't seem to be really like standing on ceremony all that much strolls up she paces up past trevor extending a hand to herodotus to shake it mm, my lady he, may, he, may, he makes a deep sort of almost almost theatrical like like court reverence my lady she and she sort of like sh then. shakes his hand and kind of like like there's a curling smile on the corner of one one side of her mouth <laughs> she sort of Wait. looks looks over to trevor and is like i see what you mean about this one his herod just strikes his orator's pose and goes i am herodotus arthurian Mendenroth the third <laughs> and i mean to sit upon the phoenix throne and well, you are it's out <laughs> <laughs> Cleo's gonna look at Z like over top of his head, just like, "Yo, you seen this?" Uh, Sparks I just, fire. I just nod my head and like pull the tentacles up and pull the uh, the choro that you've just deposited into my uh, body down closer and start nibbling on it, being like, "Yep, yep," <laughs> just sucking it in like a big pasta. Yeah, like I'm gonna like elbow my way into the into the king, and I'm gonna like nudge in, and I'm gonna press an egg roll into her hand and be like, "Hey, lady, uh, yeah, that's our that's our boy. Uh, you, uh, this your place or, or whatever?" <laughs> well, yes, this all of this. I'm I'm sure a military man of yourself uh, has no problem reading the uh, the badges of office. So she sort of like. <laughs> she, she pops out her badges of <laughs> Well, bye. This is Herodotus high romance. lives here now. Uh, Herodotus uh, lives with her medals. now. <laughs> my, my lady, you had me at battle of the swore. <laughs> but regardless, yes, I am clan chief Herivar. Oh, 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 Herodotus doesn't want to, he doesn't want to say it, but he's just like, he has this little sort of board of medals and he's just going to, uh, 
that, that, that's an order of the Imperial Eagle, as a matter of fact. No big deal, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Conspicuous Wait, so if... bravery in the face of the enemy. <laughs> Not to, like, force this or anything, but if they get together, they'll be Herodotus and Heravine. Wait. Heravon. Heravon. <laughs> Yeah. That's, that sounds all right. Herodotus and It's Hera the Hallie Vaughan. Hansen of Midspace. <laughs> it's like Jamie and James. Huh? Those are similar names. They're similar oh. names? I mean, it does start with, with, with J. her. 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 Herodotus and Hera I'm just Vaughan. pointing yeah. out, you guys, that it could be a, could be fate. But anyway, carry on. But Hera Vaughan's with a double R. Not, not what if the they're related? R. So I assume my <laughs> underlings have already explained to you the circumstance of our visit. Well, yes, they certainly have. Uh, Trevor here has been singing the praises of all three of you. Uh, so I... And her just steps in closely, very quickly, takes both of her hands in his and goes, And will you join our quest? Well, that's what I'm here to talk about. Of course, uh, First Nair cannot officially sanction your mission, but... I have all intentions to uh, stand by any outcome that you might achieve. Oh, very good, my lady. Cloak and dagger. The throne of Firstnair will uphold a kingdom of Zarg if it is formed. Whatever throne holds you, my lady, could hold anything. <laughs> Again. Politics. <laughs> I, I, I can't I can't say any of this officially and uh Neither can I, I certainly of course, of I course. certainly will not be providing any assistance on the battlefront. Oh. Or in the event of your uh, untimely demise or capture, I'm afraid First Nair will have to uh, refer to you all as terrorists. Do you have and a <laughs> uh collection of intel or surveillance that one might perhaps um Hack into and oh, then, then uh, acquire let me put that secretly. in a far more romantic way. Yes. And for yourself, one my lady, thing. are there many other services you might <laughs> offer us? <laughs> that is that is one thing I can offer, yes. Mm. We have a satellite. We have Ooh. a satellite over the moon. Yes. I know all about I'm over sure, the moon. <laughs> I'm sure one with your capabilities, Doctor, oh. doesn't need any more information than that. Right, right, I'll be right on it then. Thank you very much. Well then, I suppose I should uh, drink to your success. Uh, reclaiming Zarg could be the first step in unentangling ourselves from the Empire. And that would be a very grand day indeed. And entangling you with the, something rather better. <laughs> I see where you're going. <laughs> She's sort of kind of like looking, looking at him <laughs> with a... Like, you know, like... Um, amusement. She is amused, but also sort of like a little bit, you know, it's kind like of eye rolling. <laughs> <laughs> eye rolling. <laughs> <laughs> just is kind of Cleo in the in the, in the side with his elbow. Oh, did you hear what I said? I said entangled <laughs> with something better. Cleo's like yeah, like like <laughs> like, like a jelly tentacle. <laughs> <laughs> Cleo, you just very well a terrible idea. <laughs> well, what what are you lot waiting for? Fetch our friends something to drink. She's like raising. You can see she's got a very, again, like a really ornate version of the hollowed out log. But possibly mm. she brought it from home. Like it's uh, it's much fancier than the ones that Clan Zarg have. That's rude. She brought it from home. <laughs> <laughs> I brought my own cup because y'all are basic. <laughs> Bring out the drinks. I brought my own cup. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Empty the I bucket. Mean, I, guess, Just I guess if you're like the Bring king. out the Kool-Aid. <laughs> but um, yeah, like with very little time required, uh, a member of Clan Zarg, uh, a, a fellow with the armor that uh, Herodotus bought for him, in fact, uh, strapped on, uh, comes up with three of these flagons, th thrusting them into your guys' hands. All right. So as these flagons are all thrust into all of your hands, Herivan raises hers to the sky and says, To the victory of this mission, and to, well, the new king of Zarg, we hope. Oh. <laughs> Sure. Yeah. Uh, the, uh, the clans are also like roudly, like sort of shouting. You can't even really hear them all, all sort of saying the the toast in slightly different orders and speeds. But nice. everyone's like clashing their little their flagons and drinking up 
And um, as you guys are drinking, someone comes up behind you. In fact, three someone's come up behind you. And uh, all three of you are suddenly enveloped in big fur capes. Ornate <laughs> fur snarian fur capes, which are just sort of tossed onto your shoulders. I'm picturing Macklemore. <laughs> this is more like it. Good. Does it stick to the jelly? Yep. <laughs> Does it just slowly yeah, yeah, yeah. absorbed in? Yeah. It's like half yeah. in, half out. Oh, it's <laughs> gross. It's not even yeah, like a there. cape anymore because a cape like flows in the wind. Mine's just yeah. stuck to my back. <laughs> like, it's just sort of furry <laughs> back. So, so, sometimes it just like goes on. <laughs> <laughs> like so it clips through him like a, like a bad MMO character. Uh, yeah, no. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Wet towel oh. syndrome. <laughs> He uses that as a weapon. <laughs> <laughs> well, I feel like um, because of uh, being so embarrassed by being taken control of by the uh, seed on the uh, yeah, I'll bet. on the sh- I'll on bet. the ship, uh, you ought to be. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I'm not going to be like too keen on like getting drunk and revelry. I think uh, kind of because you were bad recently. Yes, yeah, so exactly. So I'm gonna take part in the uh, in the drink a little bit and then uh, find Trevor. Now, Trevor. The yes. satellite. Yes, Doctor. Yes, now, I would like to find, uh, to connect and, uh, and start making some preparations and plans. I already have the, uh, preliminary scans I've managed to achieve on Reese, but, uh, I'd like to add this new data to it. All right, there's a, there's a control center that Zach's been building just over here. And he sort of points, and you sort of see, like, this this long hall. A, a lot of it seems to be dedicated to, uh, like, a drinking and eating tables. Yeah. The other half of it is kind of a bit of a mess. There's chairs, there's, there's papers, there's weapons, there's half-opened, half-built explosives. There's very, very sort of well-kept-looking sniper rifles in one corner. And at one point, there's just a, a big sort of um, computer bay. Just a big, like, sort of rounded rectangle projection screen yeah brilliant it's a, well yeah. let's grab ourselves some it. uh you know some some tent tops some you know classic tent tops and then head on over there and stop our pre-plans then cleo's gonna be like tan tops eh <laughs> just a just a you, just a, uh, a, a pre-plan tent top cleo nothing uh nothing crazy <laughs> well, the, the, the twins who are just don't forget your son the twins who <laughs> are sort of operating a little mobile bar <laughs> Sort of, you know, like, give toothy grins to Dr. Z as he even mentions it. Um, pulling out some obscure first Nairian, um liquors. Oh, All of go. them have got very sort of strong, spiced <laughs> kind of smells to them. Mm. Quite quite thick, thick syrupy drinks with, um, with uh, yeah, sort of smells of, of, of aniseed and peppermint and that sort of thing. But they, they, they pour out like a sort of a green-brown, murky sludge glass for... Uh, yeah, I'm definitely not downing it. I'm going to be uh, going to take it with me, and uh, kind of when I've got the job done of uh, collecting this data, then I'm going to have my drink. Cocktail but, uh, straw. It. Yeah, but uh, I'll take that one with of me. Those napkins for it. I'll just absorb it. Mm. Glass right there, we have a we have a as as secure a network as Zach could manage. Uh, I, I I don't know how secure that actually is. I'm not very good with uh with the with the, the hacking and the computers and so Trevor, on. But I trip. You've navigated the entire wall. You'll be fine. Let's go and uh, let's go do our best. And by best, I mean let's smash into that place and get every single bit of data we can. Right then, Doctor. I'm with you. He sort of like comes and like pulls up, pulls up a pair of like rolling chairs in front of this console and just sits <laughs> down next to you, like looking expectantly. I sit into one, and my jelly body just like. Pfft. <laughs> squishes over the edge of the seats and through all the, <laughs> the, 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 the oh that must be difficult if you try to set it down like set down the body but it starts keeps like slipping <laughs> through chairs so you like <laughs> constantly have to like no. stand up a little basically I'm just standing up with the chair in the middle <laughs> just <laughs> <laughs> that's okay Aww. what happened the first couple of times you're like do you come walking with a your chair like stuck in you and we're like Aww. chair problem again <laughs> yes. <laughs> what you butt pull pull pulling chair? on that, Cleo? <laughs> yeah. Jelly problems hashtag. But he could also just like form his own little stool, just like. Oh my god! Right. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. What? Yeah. Basically, a mix of the two. It's uh. <laughs> Was also like it's it's not very tiring. Like it's not his own <laughs> body. So I'm, like, he can just, I'm, he can just stand. It doesn't matter doesn't what the need... body's doing. I'm always floating in it anyway. So that's true. The computer that has a direct beam is sort of firing up to uh, one of first near satellites that should give you an uplink into uh, the one that they have on 
pointing down at Zarg Moon as mm. well. Excellent. All right. I'll uh, do a little hacking roll on that then. Yeah? Why not? Do it. Do oh. It. 22. 22. <laughs> Jesus. All righty. Uh, we've got some, uh, some official government um, defenses going on. I know, here. right? You can't will do it, this good this early. Will it be enough? I've, I've rolled a five here. Yeah, not, not, not much to worry about. I mean... You know, first snare, they're not the, maybe not the most technologically uh, savvy lot. They tried to press control out the leap. <laughs> Try. <laughs> so, with, with, that, with minimal difficulty, Dr. Z is able to um, track down the Zarg satellite and basically just completely get in on there. And you can see that it has multiple sensors looking down at the moon that um, could bring in different amounts of information. It has a bit of an orbit, so it only has, um, at the moment, it doesn't actually have up to date information. On the castle, on the castle Zarg, hmm. it's pointed at the other side of the moon. But it does have information from just a couple hours ago. I say to uh, Trevor, now notice that it wasn't too difficult there. Just had to, uh, you know, probably you know, much like piloting a ship, just finding our way through all of these firewalls and obstacles and, you know, rogue agents. Well, it's all a mystery to me, Z. But uh, I appreciate the uh, the metaphor. <laughs> All right, so can I pull that uh, data up and compare it to the stuff I've got from uh, from my last scans with Reese? You best believe it. So a lot of what you're getting is sort of just confirming what you already know. You've got like a, a really accurate map now of the, um, like a pro proper three-dimensional terrain map of the area, which is, mm -hmm. could be very, very useful. The mm -hmm. castle itself, you can now see how all the armaments on it as well. And there are a lot. It has like anti-air guns just sort of mounted all through it and they're the big kind the kind that can fire up you know up into the upper atmosphere okay the big ones the big ones making a, like a, an approach from directly above questionable mm. all right with the sort of heat tracking and stuff as well you can get a bit of an idea of the number of units in there it looks like it's there's really just a token force of the craw that are actually in the castle hmm all right, and we did, um, and last week I had a bunch of uh, the information come from tourists who had been using selfie sticks and, and whatnot. Mm -hmm. uh, how close does tourists get to this castle? What's the closest point I can find a selfie stick image? Ah, that's, that's an castle? interesting question there. So they're mostly in the ruins of the um, ruins of the town, mm. and the castle is like moated in the, in the center of that, at the uh, far end of a cliff. Mm -hmm. So people like they do venture up relatively close but no one's really ever coming right up to the moat because around the outside of the moat that's where the patrols of these craw are patrolling around mm -hmm. and from sort of the old footage you can see of them you can actually get like a, a zoomed in picture of them it's yeah, not super good quality but you can see that they are they're they're quite well armed they all seem to be ha carrying some quite strange weapons Excellent. they've got really sort of long long energy bla <clears throat> energy staffs they have diamond shaped like crystal points on either end and then they seem to have more of these like crystal points sort of strapped into their armor and they're sort of very very tall bipedal bird-like creatures fight milk <laughs> <laughs> they fight with the power of a craw <laughs> trevor do you see what i see i see a lot of guns yes but also do you see a lot of uh, selfie sticks a lot of tourists seems like this location is uh frequented by, uh, what would the word be? Taurus. Uh, what's another word for Taurus? Um, holiday, holiday makers? Holiday makers. Yes. Holiday. Yes, well, Zarg has got a lot of untamed wildlands. It's, uh, it's a good place to, you know, sort of glamp, I believe, they're, they've been putting it. You, you can you can right. buy a sh you can buy a ship that just sort of, you know, you just, right. just well, land I think it there and it... Uh, I think it's time that we book ourselves a little glamping location and uh, book an excursion for, um, <gasps> well, 19 plus 3. Yes. Wait. Yeah. That's a lot. Yeah, but we want to bring all of... Uh, aren't we, like, invading? Don't we want to recon first? Right, and we can recon with them, right? I Don't mean, we... that that might be a little suspicious. The, the craw, they, they do like the money, though. They, um... Oh, right. Well, okay. Well, if you... Uh, <gasps> what, if this... we, what if we disguise as a tour group? <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's, let's cut away to the other two, then. I mean, uh, are we still, like, uh... I guess we're just getting fucked up with the locals. Yeah. Well, so we're not allowed to be a part of the camping. That's cool. Yes. That's cool. <laughs> you, okay. I mean, you you could you could very much choose to walk we'll over to Doctor Z, <laughs> see what he's doing. 
That's cool. I do feel like you guys might be might be a little bit distracted by Hiravan. You see, the part of what, as you know, a beneficiary of, of unsynchronized warfare. Yeah, yeah, the white, the revolutionary. <laughs> what do you say, Bear? Well, 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 now. Have you heard about gunpowder? I know about. Yeah, well, now I brought mine in. See, I brought mine in. I said, I just, I just set it up down next to me. I didn't know if we was on our way. It's magic What's... from the olden days. Yeah, Cleo's got her turret. And... Just. Popped next to the table, having an egg roll. Oh yeah. <laughs> I mean, I'm ready to go. If we got, if we got any, where's uh, where's our people at? I don't know. Let's go exploring, shall we? Let's see what we can find. Let's make it an adventure. Let's, Let's bring see. the egg. It, where is the egg? I Let's don't know, him. Squire. And sort of somewhere from just behind Herodotus, like wheels in Dilbert with the egg. <laughs> There you are. Yes, yes. We're going on an we're going on an adventure. We're taking the egg. Bring this all time the drinks it's and real. the eggs. Not just the one egg, but all the drinks. Yeah, all for, come on, Boris. Where's Boris? Boris. 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 Boris, Boris looks up. Boris. He's actually at the far end of the table. Somehow he's gotten some member of Clan Zark to hand over their gun, and he's like scrubbing at it like vigorously, like he's trying to clean it <laughs> or restore it or something. God, he's being servile again. Boris, come Bo here. Boris, what are you doing to that? That's somebody else. Now we have an we have an objective, Boris. We're looking for our own things. Where's your bag? Do you, are you? Did you put your bag down? Where's your? Yeah, he, ha he hands the uh, the pistol back to um back to the the member of Clan Zarg. Like yes, and you have to oil that part. You have to oil it often, otherwise it will stick again. Okay, sorry, Cleo. Boris, uh, Boris uh, is gonna arm this whole damn place. Boris. Please stop telling my soldiers about oils and things. They might get ideas. We don't need any more of them. <laughs> <laughs> I mean Every ideas, day, of course, perverts. <laughs> so, hey, ho hoisting up the bag again. I still have it, Cleo. Uh, Boris, you seen anything while you've been while you've been nosing around in everybody's pockets? Uh, yes, yes, Cleo. Many, many, many wonderful pieces of equipment. All right, good. All right. Now, do you think now we gotta arm all these people? Do you, you got a plan for that? Yes. Well, have you? They are, they are, they are relatively well armed, Cleo. We have, uh, let's see, uh. Yeah, but are they, <coughs> are they Chloris armed? You know what I mean, Cleo and Boris style. Armed. Ah. Well, we have, we have two, two sniper rifles. We have uh two energy staffs, I believe, and uh. Oh, and, 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 and several energy blades. That's it? No, no, no. We also have uh, a series of, uh, of, of, of standard blaster rifles. Herod does not approving them. Okay. Yeah, yeah, very good. Okay. But you haven't thought about everything, have you? What about cavalry? Ah, well, mm. I guess there is, there is Cleo's pet. We got Jordan. She's talking about, they're talking about Jordan. We got Jordan. Well, I mean, now Jordan can only carry like five people. And also, he's airborne, Charlie. And we got the rover. Yeah, that's more like it. Also, we the... have Squire. So he's a, the... it's a combination sort of thing. They're revolutionary, don't you know? What about that nuke force? Well, yes. I mean, we want to take the castle whole, though, yes? Well, well I mean. Well, I mean. I mean, we got to break a couple eggs. Sometimes just, you know, to create gotta... an empire must be great. Break a couple of <laughs> resistance cells, don't you know? Just tear half of the planet. I think down. it is possible that, that that rocket might might dismantle the entire structure. Worth it. Is well, yes, uh, we, 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 could, we, could, we could use it on the other side of the moon where the, uh, the, the primary core forces are lying wait. Could we... And stop me if this is getting a little too intellectual, but lie... I mean, we could we could detonate the nuke and sort of say that we have many more, and hopefully they will just surrender. Ah. Well, well, I mean, they won't be left. No, I mean, we detonated sort of against something else, and the, 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 the demonstration <laughs> of force, shock and awe, as they used to say. I mean, ah. and what if we need another one? Well, well, you know, we will cross that bridge when we blow it up. 
<laughs> is is the king near us? She's um, you've kind of you've kind of wandered over to where Boris was now, so she's back up the other end of the table. Hmm. Okay. I have an idea. Very well. I'm gonna mm -hmm. say it out of character. Alright. Okay. To see how it vibes. Since all of the knowledge that we have of this region is that they're here secretly and they're not welcome because the bird people wouldn't be down, but tourists can come here. Mm hmm What if we just went touristing? Oh. Like, just, just to see what's up and maybe do some perceptioning. My. About like we like weaknesses like, in the, like proper, in the infrastructure. proper undercover. I mean, that's uh, it's, it's pretty feasible. Like nothing crazy. Just like take the rover and go joyriding with the selfie sticks. And you know when things when things go a little nuts. Already got a Belgo's Funhouse T-shirt. Yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, like I, I feel like the, the information gathering that the Z has done would very much lead you to be able to do a very strong um, recce of the place. I, I do think um, Herodotus's plan could have merit as well. Well, who should yeah? say we can't do really? both? Expl I mean, we could. Bring I mean, it. I'm not 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 <laughs> exploding the entire castle, no, but no, um, exploding I, I, my, something. My, my suggestion was to detonate the nuke somewhere else, and you know, Let's, use it as a proof of concept, could, uh... essentially. Give up all power, or we will do this to you. You know, the good old standby. It feels like I should make some bombs. Yeah, well, that's I usually mean, that's... just a good idea. Because I think I'm out. Not a bad, bad plan. There is, you can see, there is like a little um, station up sort of past where Dr. Z is, where someone has been already beginning to build explosives. You yeah, you right. kind of smelt it as soon as you stepped into the, uh, into the building. Ooh, I just had a nasty thought. And it's a little meta, so I feel conflicted about sharing it. Let's have it. Dick is seeming supportive of our thinking. Which makes me think <laughs> that maybe he wants us to do this so that it can go terribly wrong, so that he can have more fun. Well, the thing is, like this episode is all about planning. So, like for me, the most exciting thing is you guys having plans. Like, Fair I feel like know. it's certainly going to be next episode at least, or even two episodes in the future before you actually enact the plans. So, like, yeah, I've got plenty of time to come up with ways to fuck up with fuck up any plan you come up with. That is, so you might okay, as well, well just, might as well just come up with whatever your favorite plan is, is because point. I'm. I'll still probably try and screw with it. Well, here's a cool thing. I have 137 <laughs> explosive kits if this is right. I imagine that is right. You did buy an obscene amount the last time you went shopping. Mm. Oh, Cleo, I have an idea. Hit me. You build a series of bombs with saddles. Then we mount the hot rod trim on the bombs, drop them on the enemy, and we strike two birds with one nuke. Well, now, hold on, hold on, hold on. Cleo's getting a napkin out. <laughs> Harry, Harry, all right. Just draw, draw it for me, draw it for me, like. Very well. Do are you they going to the ride the, of the bombs? Yeah, I heard, of, I heard about yes, it. Yes, the ride of the I get 500, those from the food the replicator. Or whatever the hell many of them, the idiots rode into the cannons. My point is, if they had been riding bombs, there would be no trouble. None of them would have to ride back. They would have blown the Ruskies right off of the, the entire peninsula. Oh, I see, I see. Now, now, if I was just any taller, I'd be round. But now... I suppose that makes what sense. I, what if I want to keep some of them? Of the Herodrim or the bombs? The Zogs. The Z Oh, I hadn't thought of that. Well, perhaps I mean, this merits rethinking. Perhaps the casualty numbers would have been too troubling anyway. Yeah, as well. What it's if good they to can these just carry anyway, the bombs? You know? They can just carry their own bomb. Everybody gets one. Oh, let's see. That's a good compromise. You know, just toss it. I just say toss kill it. yourself. You say don't. And we sort of ended that uh, potential. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I grown uh, up. They like, grown on me. The team they grown on me. They growed on me. Harry is all. And I'm thinking, I'm thinking I'm a, either way. I think that we got a common uh, thread here. Bombs. You know what it is. It's bombs. Yes. I knew it. Boris, Blow, get over blowing here. stuff up has never failed yet. No, Boris. Um, we gotta get cooking. Yes, Boris. Tell the king. Tell yes. the king. Yes, 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 Herodotus. Tell the king. I'm, I'm sorry, what, 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 what am I telling the king? You mean to say you haven't been paying attention? Herodotus smacks him over the back of the head. Oh, oh, well, <laughs> I, I, out of I here and I'm bring sorry? me another drink. We're making like two hundred bombs tonight, Boris. 
Uh, oh, very good. Yes. Ah, uh, we will we'll need coffee then. <laughs> or oh, something a little stronger. Tail. Tail the king, one of these tables ain't for eating anymore. And also, oh my. the chest the most lustrous eyes I've ever put eyes upon. <laughs> uh, so, like, it's the drink first? Obviously. Or king? Okay. And he sort of yeah. like tots off to the um the bar. Where the, the twins are sort of like just rolling round and round the table. He is like he chases along behind them for a while before he manages to catch up. And then he's, he he gets these armloads of drinks and then sort of stops by the clan chief and sort of he says something to her and she sort of like looks over, over at the two of you. And her, 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 again, her. again, like giving Herodotus like a a uh, intrigued but confused and sort of slightly like, who the hell is this lunatic? Look, yeah, that's sort of a curl <laughs> in one one lip, one mm. corner of one lip again. Oh. You see that? Do you see that, Cleo? She's making eyes at me. Oh, I tell you the woman is wild for me. Reminds me of a uh, Droma. That's <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. pretty similar, actually. <laughs> well, you better be careful. <laughs> I've got a hose. You never know who or what is going to get her. Well, I suppose I am. Eventually, Boris sort of comes back and he's, he's got his arms over the drink, which he hands over to, to Cleo and Herodotus. He's got a little bit confused in the process, so like, they are basically kind of warm coffee vodka kind of medleys. Great. That'll definitely help. Um, so you're going you're gonna to set up a, a bomb-making station, yeah? Well, I know that people are still sort of eating, so I'm going to start doing it intermittently while they're still here. Okay, so you're just gonna sort of like sit up shop at one end of the table. Yeah, but it's gonna start sliding down the table as I as think... you end up with more and more bombs. Yeah. Oh, I, yeah, are you gonna, gonna like room. walk up to people like like sort of shuffle up behind them at like a 19 degree angle and go like, uh, you done with that? I'm gonna need that plate. Yeah, yeah. It's like <laughs> when a kid has like an activity. Yeah. And all the adults are still at the table, but the kid starts like furtively setting up, mm -hmm. like around and, and through, yeah. and eventually it'll like, be possession is nine tenths of the law. Get out. Yeah, I w I was here first. As you begin the assembly, let's cut back over to Doctor Z. Is there more you're going to try and get out of this? Um, out of this, I've lost the word. A satellite. A satellite. No, I mean, um, you know, we get yeah, so uh, much Cleo's outside. guessed or guessed already where I was going with it. I was uh, just, yeah, going to be booking a clamping thing and go down as tourists and then plan some shit from there. Booking some. Uh, All right, so are you going to are you going to book like a like a sort of an advance party sort of size um, camping setup, or are you going to try and get a lot of you down there uh yeah what's trevor thinking is trevor thinking so trevor is sort of eyeing the info and he's like he's already got you to sort of show as well like some of the the um the footage from the other side of the moon and he's and look, sort of looking at these general sort of heat signature numbers to get ideas of, about the crawl's numbers because it's been a long time that clan zarg has been back to the motherland and sort of really dealt with what's going on there hmm. and there's kind of a sprawling craw I guess it's a city. It doesn't really look like a city. It looks like a um, sort of like a like a connection of like tunnels and like twiggy nest type things. Mm. But it takes up a very large section, and like there's there's legitimately like millions of craw in that area. Oh god! But that that is on the other side of the moon, mm. whereas on the side where Castle Zarg is, there are smaller nests dotted around, and then the castle itself seems to be occupied by sort of no more than about fifty craw. That we can time. see, but if there are tunnels everywhere, then maybe they're more subterranean and bloody secretive. Um, but she was like, well, yes, we certainly won't be able to go in dressed like this, sort of like pointing at his fur cloak. Mm. There isn't anyone from First Nair in at all. It's, um, well, I guess they're worried about us, sort of pointing at himself with both fingers. They've got the transport ship where all the families were in, right? Yeah. It's currently that's... painted as the Herodrum. Mm -hmm. um, maybe I'll pull up some more social uh, media pictures of like um, other tourist excursions that have gone to this this moon, and uh, look at the logos and like the kind of paintwork and everything that they're doing, and try and uh, yeah, rip it off, and then start uh, start building cool. some uh, 
some name tags, some uh, hats. You know, the un- everyone's wearing the same hat and the same backpack. And then print out some big old decals that we can put over the ship. And uh, that sounds yeah, yeah that's a bit, so like guided yeah. tour of the wilds of Zarg. Yeah, kind of um thing. Yeah, we use like copying all these logos and like getting like, baseball hats and. <laughs> And like and that the decals on the side of the transport ships you can also do. Yeah, cover up the horodrum with, you know, whatever this like uh Zarg Moon excursions or something like this. You know? <laughs> and uh Can we go undercover as like teenagers on their uh Oh yeah. <laughs> like for just finished high school. <laughs> and spring break. Spring Main focus is printing out things, printing out uh decals and, uh, and, and So uniforms. you've you've sort of you've you've gone into their system. <laughs> Well, let's, let's let's pop back over to um, the other two of you now, as uh, as Doctor Z is sort of like he's tapped into the um, the local three D printers and started printing uh, decals and uh, and name tags, and he's uh, arranging deliveries of uh, of branded T shirts and caps. Yeah. And, um, <laughs> Do we see that, or is that happening somewhere where I we mean, don't... if you were to look, uh, he's like there's a giant screen in front of him where all <laughs> this is happening. So if you were to even just look in that direction, you would see. But. Uh, okay. I, I question whether or not Cleo even Probably knows not. that Doctor Z is doing something. I've got things going on. <laughs> Carry on. So yeah, b- back at the table, um, where you and you and Boris, I assume, are sort of like hard at work assembling bombs, bomb after bomb. Oh, I'm providing yeah, moral got, support. We've got stations for everything. We got gunpowder. We got mustard. We got, uh, you know, all the things. Ooh, you, you citrus like. pepper, yummy. Yeah, we got everything you like in a in a bomb. We got fried shrimp. Baked shrimp, pop shrimp, bath uh, bomb, grilled one, bath bomb. We got, you know, we got that Drano, because mm. I, I think, and, and Dayquil. I it's think those aesthetic. things actually actually do go in bombs, because you know, when you go to the store to buy one, you're only allowed to have two and they ask your birthday. Uh, but we. You have a said, birthday? I'll, I got like four. <laughs> and we're setting up the whole table. Yeah, we're setting up the whole table and people, they're still eating here, but... As your production line is sort of increasing, Harris's daughter sort of like walks on over and squeezes herself in between Cleo and and Boris, sitting down on one of the sort of the long benches. Okay, like, okay. Do you make explosives? Oh yeah, we do. You want to make some? You want you want your own? You can design it. You're right then. And she um, immediately sort of grabs an explosives kit and with like a really like quick, not even really looking at it, military precision, puts together a bomb and adds it to the pile. Cleo sees that and is like, okay. And she sort of like look, see. looks at Cleo and then sort of looks down at the table again like, I'm Effie. Well. What fucking meat cute is this? Bang. I'm Cleo. And... You're going to need to do that about 8,000 more times because you're hired. She nods and just sort of starts rapidly putting bombs together. Oh, my God. I'm so... This is my best friend now. This is like a tank oh, girl Boris. kind of vibe. Well, she's, no, yeah, Boris she's like, is um, in our club. Boris is in our club. He's fine. He doesn't... He's probably into it, too. Yeah. But Boris is much slower because he's oh, like looking at it and like working out how it works as he does it. He's, uh, he's, he's not very efficient. He's the watchmaker kind. Hmm. He's making a an art, not a consumable. But yeah, like this. So Effie is um, Harris's daughter, the sort of the sullen one who was giving Cleo the evils back at the party, yeah. like you know, way well, back when episodes ago. Yeah, that was years ago, and I for, I forgot him by now. Bless his heart. Who happens to Effie be the the resident explosives expert in Clansar? Who run the world, girls? With bomb. We've taken over the entire hall with our production. I'm slowly introducing, like, you know, who these people are and what they can do. Okay. I'm about this. Boris is every now and then, like, giving us a piece, like a interesting piece from his bag so that we can customize as we need to. Quick question about the mechanics of this. Should I actually click the explosive kit button? I don't know with the, the number that we're dealing with here. I think we need to um, have a, like an, another way of determining like how many. So I might maybe get you to um, do like a percentile I, dice. Okay, that makes more sense. This is like a math moment, you guys. Okay. Roll a D100, but double the result. Okay. And that that percentage of the bombs are like you know sweet successes. Okay, so you've rolled a 51. So you're Wait. fine. You're uh, you've, you've you've made bombs. Congratulations, you've made bombs. 
<laughs> you have. So does that bombs. mean that? Does that mean that? Out of 137 bombs, only half are good. No, no, I, I said, I said double it. So a hundred. 100% of them are good. 102%. You, you, guys, you guys are firing on all cylinders and... Uh, 102% of these bombs are good, guys. Well, they're, maybe they're 2% better. <laughs> 2%! 2%! You know why that is? Because two ladies is making them. Boris is just, you know, he's here. What am I doing all the... Or, or are you, drinking, are you probably. Bombs? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> you're like, you're overseeing it, Harry. Uh, yeah. But I'm... Um, yes. Blending moral support, that's... But Somebody sort of sitting, sitting like, next to, you know. I'm sitting next to Harry, sort of eyeing up this whole thing, and uh, you know, like uh, dining upon the entire leg of some sort of like roast fowl, a very nice. large roast fowl, is Billy Boy, the pilot that you uh, you met earlier. He's sort of like munching okay. away and drinking. Okay. Like, ah, Herodotus, or should I, should I say, uh, Your Majesty now? <laughs> Uh, My lord will do, or serene majesty. <laughs> well, yes, uh, all of that. Um, well, have you have you met have you met Daldridge over here? I don't believe I've had the questionable pleasure. Oh, oh, and sort of Daldridge sort of like wipes his hand and reaches out to to shake Rodriguez's. Oh, very good, my lord. Uh, yes, I'm I'm Trevor's brother. Ah, so they allow you to have brothers? How adventurous! Ah. <laughs> uh, Yes, but uh, I was just going to say, if, 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 if the plan requires any, uh, any sharpshooting from afar, I'm your man. Uh, me and, uh, me and uh, my, my, my good friend, uh, my good friend, God, who am I looking at? <laughs> my good friend Hazel. She, uh, she as well will be uh, perfectly serviceable at the uh, striking from afar. Very well, and where is this Hazel? Oh, she's, uh, she's about the way over there. He's at a point, and there's um, a, another member of Clan Zarg with a sort of a short auburn bob. Okay. Uh, can I roll for perception? Laughing and drinking sort of across the hall. Can I roll for perception? Absolutely. Okay. I'll just roll a d20. Oh. That's a seven. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. <laughs> I was just going to look around and see if I saw like a, like a bottle on a shelf or something. Like something exposed and singular like I could point to as a target. That was sufficiently far away for it to be impressive. Ah, well, you... You don't really like. You don't see anything particularly stand out, but there are there is, is a lot of um like they've sort of got this greenery like they've like got um these big tree branches and they've sort of turned it into like bunting up in the hall, up in, up in the ceiling of the hall. Do, bunting do, out of tree branches. Do I have like a coin in in my pocket or something? That's like very that. hunting large. No, okay, <laughs> Cleo, uh, can I take this? I don't suspect. I don't suspect you need a, a button for a bomb, do you? <laughs> <laughs> nah. Well, <laughs> they never do work now, do they? <laughs> Have a couple. Damn. All right. So Herodotus uh, turns back to uh, to the sharpshooter. All right. Now, point me out this friend of yours, Hazel. Uh, well, she's over there. That one. Mm, yes. But, yeah, but the grey blur or the rather more uh, uh, purple <laughs> one. <laughs> He's like, um. Well, she's um, she's standing uh, next to Tez, and um, ah, you young people in your smoke machines. Very well. <laughs> I've got such bad perception. So, um, <laughs> Ron just takes the buttons, kind of three of them in his hand, and goes, "All right, I shall, on the count of seven. It's a, it's a, it's a religiously symbolic number. I shall throw this in the air." And you and your friend, uh, uh, Walnut, or Hazel, Hazel, yes, uh, must shoot each button before they hit the ground. And I shall consider you for field service. Oh, but if you should fail, you're on broom duty from here until doomsday. Is that understood? I don't think that's necessarily going to be a good idea if we do miss, but, uh, right? I wrote this sort of threatening the half opens his jacket and starts pulling out contracts. Is this your <laughs> signature here? <laughs> very good, very good. So I, I, I wait for him to run over to Hazel to explain the rules. <laughs> so he, he rushes, like, and he does like a big loop. He runs all the way around Dr. Z, almost crashing into Dr. <laughs> Z, who's like, he's gone over to the printer to collect some of the, the decals. Um, he grabs the two shiny sniper rifles off the wall in one hand, sort of like half dragging them, sort of runs over to Hazel, sort of animatedly looking at her thrusting her rifle into her hands and she's like sort of immediately standing up and sort of like looking up in the air the buttons might already be there <laughs> all, all the way her road was this is counting loudly and dramatically ah one ah two and so on until a six and 
and then up we go. And he throws them at the air. <laughs> Hazel sort of just, she's over the table. They're all sort of sat and she's just taking aim with the big long rifle from a standing position. <laughs> so they are like just waiting to see the arc of the thing. She's waiting to see when they sort of start coming down. But Deldridge, on the other hand, just sort of takes a, an over-the-top sort of dive roll off to one side to Ooh. get a different angle. And he shoots first, trying to hit these things when they're on their way up. And he takes two very fast, immediate shots at, um, at buttons. The first one, just taking, taking the button out in the air. Like it's, it's basically vaporized by the plasma blast from his sniper rifle. Just a little dusty, smoky um, remnant sort of descend down onto the party like confetti. His second shot at, uh, at another of the buttons <laughs> does, the, does the exact same thing. He's just pew, pew. He takes two shots. He takes down two buttons. Hazel Ooh. sort of, you know, sort of smirks at him. He's clearly like ready to take a third shot. But now the, um, the buttons are on their way down and she fires as well. And she's on a natural 20. <laughs> She sees that, that Deldridge is about to take another shot. Yeah, just for a laugh, she fires two shots herself. The first shot, just nicking the edge of the button, sending it out of the way, where Deldridge is like, you know, ready to take a shot, and he's like, Ugh, and like lowers his gun because it's, it's just firing off towards the wall. Mm. And then she takes a second shot, obliterating it no! before it strikes the wall. Oh, I was hoping she would put a hole in it, because that, that way Herodotus could use his pettiness to be like, well, you... I, I can't seem to find your buttons, but she seems to have done the job I asked her to do. <laughs> oh, well, these are these things that because they do fire these sort of big, you know, big hefting Star Wars beams of plasma. I feel like they just they just obliterate a button. Yeah, all right. Maybe if they had bullets. Yeah, Antiqu antiquated old things. No, oh, very well, very well. Good work, both of you. I shall take you on as supplementary squires one and two. You shall be Primus, he points at Hazel. And you, for the two shots, you are Secundus. Is that understood? <laughs> Very good. Enjoy your, enjoy your new names. I shall see you on the field of glory. Okay, I, I should Primus, in Secundus, notes. and Dilbert. <sighs> <sighs> when you get drafted, you get drafted. That's what it is. That's what it is. Pretty as a pumpkin, but half as smart. You're in the army <laughs> now. <laughs> <laughs> You're in the okay, army brilliant. name, Bo. <laughs> they've, they've, got, they've got additional names. That's a new row in the spreadsheet is like, regular name, Harry name. <laughs> I mean, may, maybe I will have to, if he's got to rename all 19 of them. Um, but um, <laughs> they're just, they're just I, I've just got a, Triarchus. I've just got a, I've got a notes section, which has got yeah. various notes that I'm building upon. These That's guys, wise. as things happen. We're gonna need that section. We're gonna we're gonna have us a Septimus. <laughs> For a lot of reasons. Octavus! Come here! Oh, this is gonna be a fun one. <laughs> so there's nine there's nineteen of them. There's nineteen of them. That we know of. And, and you've um you've met a few of them now. So you've met Harris, the ship's captain, Trevor, the pilot, also mm -hmm. Billy Boy, the other pilot. You've met the the twins, who are both fi fighters, basically. You've met Zach, the engineer, and now you've also met both Deldridge and Hazel, the uh, sniper assassins. I and um, Cleo, oh, yeah, that's you've, her you've, name. You've met, you've met, uh, met Effie, it's the explosives fine. expert as well. I guess it would be Prima, since she's a woman. But then again, Harry doesn't really deal with that, so he's going to go with Primus, I think. It sounds better. I like, Prima. I like it better. Primus sounds like a bad I think French we, card. I think we live in a, like a more sort of gender-neutral universe anyway. <laughs> Was there any way that I can uh, make uniforms here? Make those hats and make the uh, backpacks, or is that something that's unachievable? I feel like a that, bribe in I, the right hand. That's that's that's, that's definitely that's, that's bending my my understanding of what the setup's got. I, yeah. I think you have to like like have them fabricated elsewhere and mm. shipped to you. Okay, but that's yeah. not doable, right? With with like that's 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 totally doable. I mean, you're oh. you're on a you're on a, a a like a planet that has um you know industry and everything, so you could just arrange it. You know, something to pick up on your way. Okay, yeah, yeah. So can I order um, uh, two cheeseburgers? Uh, well, actually, let me put together this all as a presentation first, as like uh, make slides and everything. You're gonna present it to the group. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like put it all together nicely and uh, and uh, present it and go over it with uh, with Trevor. 
Three of us sort of like just nodding, nodding and offering sort of basic input, like color suggestions for the hats. Yeah. Oh. oh, and we can have like a briefing meeting where like a ro- where 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 a doctor is like coming up to like give his presentation, and someone is like snicker in the crowd, and Harad just gets super indignant, like he spent time and energy putting this together for you, <laughs> for your entertainment, and there you are laughing at him just because he's got a chair stuck in him again. He worked <laughs> hard on that chair. Yeah. <laughs> so eventually, uh, you have all the slides you need. You've got the whole thing into sort of like a little little projector unit that you can just toss down on the table and project up for everyone to see when you're ready. All right, yes, well, I'll say to Trevor, well, now, big moment. Are you oh, ready? Right, yes, of course. Um, yes, well, I'll... Come I'll... chief. Right, oh, yes. Okay. Uh, sorry, were you, were you going to go... No, no, I was going sorry. to, I was going to, like, we'll just wing it. No, it's fine. Okay, well, <laughs> Clan Chief, um, the Doctor and I have put together a, um, a proposal of sorts, um, thought you might like to see, and of course, uh... Yes, Cleo, and, uh, and or my, uh, Harry. Uh, my Dilbert, siblings, and, uh, and the like, uh... Boris, um... Me and the Doctor, I mean, the Doctor and I. Hiravan sort of, like, looks knowingly at the Doctor and says, I hope you haven't been in my satellite there, Doctor. Of course not. She gives you a wink and a nod, and sort of takes a seat to, to watch the uh, watch the presentation. Sort yes. of like you know, yes. sort of leaning to one side and like uh, watching idly. Yes, Ooh, I've good. still got that that ten top sitting to the side where I'm like looking forward to being able to drink it. And, uh, and the rest of Clan Zarg, they look way more business than the last time you all got together and drank. They're like they're all they're drinking, but they're mm. not drinking like you know celebrating like we just saved our family drinking. They're kind of drinking. You know, just because they are drinkers and um, they are still looking quite They're drinking, lucid. but not getting drunk. <laughs> the, mm. Yeah, they're, they're, look, they're looking very lucid and, and actually interested in this. You know, they've, they've been eavesdropping where they can when you guys are talking about plans and sort of like, you know, eyeing one another when they heard uh, heard about suicide bomber plans, which uh, they were glad were, were thrown out. But they're sort of, they're, they're ready to hear some of the ideas because... Obviously, they've been trying to come up with these sorts of ideas for their entire lives. Right. Um, yes, well, we would like to present Zarg Moon Expeditions. Well, I thought it was excursions, Ex- Excursions. That <laughs> Zarg Moon Excursions. And info. And then some uh, things, some, some sparklers going off and... You know, <laughs> holographic sparklers and whatnot. And he was sort of like looking at it, like kind of Ooh, frowning uh-huh. and looking even more confused. So like, with hats and <laughs> backpacks. We and haven't even got it yet. Name tags. <laughs> Ooh. The whole shebang. With we luxury. We don't want tourists on our moon. With doctor. luxury accommodation provided by the glamping spot. <laughs> Go on, Trevor. Uh, 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 yes. <laughs> uh, what? Uh, what? What? Uh, what? The good doctor is uh, is getting at is that uh, well, the craw they wouldn't be none none too happy if any of us were to show up on the moon as we are. But what if we didn't look like Glanzarg? What if we looked like the kind of people that they do allow? And then suddenly everyone's sort of expressions kind of turn a little bit and they're sort of like nodding away and like you're know, looking to one another like that, that, that might just work. Yeah, yeah, those selfies piss me off. Yeah, bloody Imperials go in there all the time. Exactly, selfie sticks. Everyone will have their own selfie stick. <laughs> next, next slide. <laughs> <laughs> selfie stick. <laughs> and like, yeah, the Dr. Z has already ordered 19 selfie sticks to be picked up on the way off first now. <laughs> Only things left are a uh, size survey that uh, I need everyone to fill out. Uh, we'll order backpacks, name badges, hats, selfie sticks, complimentary sticker pack. Right, well, that's how we're getting in. What do we do once we're there? Cleo and Effie just smile from their table. <laughs> And it's just bombs. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and it's, it's taking up a, a larger and larger section of the table <laughs> as time goes on. It's just bombs on bombs on bombs on some bombs. You know those games at the pier where you put a coin in and then it drops in and then it slowly pushes more and more coins to like yeah. push the coins off into the hole? It's like each time you add a bomb, it's just slowly <laughs> pushing more and more bombs off the edge of the table. Yeah. We're just two ladies behind <laughs> our bake sale table. <laughs> so proud of your inane amount of bum. All these brownies <laughs> and lemon tarts made with love. And weapons of mass destruction. Ain't it pretty? 
big old bamps. Show is. We don't say anything. And uh, at this point, Her Heravan is sort of like, you know, looking, looking actually almost impressed, you know, and sort of nodding to Dr. Z and Trevor. And sort of looking over at um, Herodotus once more with another sort of incredulous sort of look and like a, like almost a squint and a shake of the head, like, are they really going to install this guy as king? This is looking more and more feasible. <laughs> Herod Herodotus is waggling his bushy eyebrows at her. She's kind of playing both sides a little bit here. She's like maintaining her good relations with the um, with the the empire, with the Terrans for now, but also sort of like basically tacitly agreeing, like, "Hey, if you guys can pull this off, I will support your. I, I will be like, okay, well, it is Zarg's moon. Clearly, like there are documents to support this, mm. because that yeah, the, in, an independent kingdom right next to First Near would uh, mm. you know, it'd be good politically in terms of them securing uh." A freer position themselves. Mm. Yeah, makes sense, makes sense. Cool. Well, seems to me that you folks have everything under control. Good luck to you all. Contact me once you have the castle. And we'll see about uh, sorting out some treaties. Mmm, treaties. Well then, I've got some things to do. Busy work being a clan chief. And she nods and sort of stands and the armed, fur-cloaked, warriors to either side militantly sort of step around and like let her sort of walk out and then follow behind her well we could have like a a little sort of like the three of us sitting down and like oh well things are about to get a little weird <laughs> so yeah I cleo think, and i, I have so. done like planning and preparing you've just done drinking <laughs> yeah pretty much and well, I mean, he's, 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 hyp he's hypothesized some um some methods of entry and like the whole uh like n tactical nuclear strike thing is and, yeah, and done, always an option. Tactical done nuke. important, uh, you know, diplomatic work for future uh, marriage contract. Mm. Schmoozing, schmoozing. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Schmoozing. Uh, yeah. He sat here with his big ass and he held the bench stand so it didn't flip over when we filled it up with metal. He <laughs> met. He met the snipers too. So he met the snipers <laughs> and yes. tested their metal. Inspired yeah. yeah, he did that. He proctored. An examination of skill. Oh, that's good. Oh, I'm going to use that. I proctored an examination of skill, Doctor. Can you say the same? Oh, I wasn't asking you as Doctor, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, I was, I, was just, I was just joking. But yeah, I think, the, I think the three of you sort of like getting together and having like a little sort of ra round off would be uh, appropriate. Doctor Z like coming down from his plinth to sort of you know like, see if they enjoyed his uh his presentation. <laughs> well, me and Trevor. Done, Doctor. I diagnose it successful. I'm gonna need a big name tag if you know what I mean. Yes, yeah, so well, I was thinking we could put four name tags next to each other and uh, just you know. It's called rasturbating, right? When you print out like multiple things and they make one it, big image. It is. Yeah. I'm sure it is. <laughs> it does, we, doesn't sound good, yeah. but that's what it's called. We can we can, a name tag for you. We can pray that that will be enough. <laughs> One <laughs> big cannonball shot gets fired, and you, you, your life is saved by four name tags deflecting the shot. Like a bullet in a babble. So Trevor sort of going in, he's got the list that he's handing around for people to put in their, their oh, names yeah, for yeah. the name tags and their, their sizes for the t-shirts and all that. So, so a list of names is coming in, and um, for the first time, Dr. Z can see an entire sort of lineup of the names of Clan Zarg, uh, being Harris, Trevor, The Twins, Zach, Deldridge, Gamara, Zadbert, Anna, Hazel, Effie, Tiz, Elvine, Manny, Billy Boy, Trevor B, Norris, Bebbit, and Sue. Bebbit? Oh, man. Okay. I'm going to have to find and write down all of the, uh, all of the like, uh, nomen numerals. Of Latin from like one to nineteen, mm. <laughs> but just slowly assign them to different yeah, members yeah. as you meet them. Like, like oh, 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 can can Herodotus insist on that? Like throwing out the name, the name <laughs> list, and just putting numerals on them. You could, yeah, you, you they get their name tag, and you print out another name tag and give it to the, <laughs> or maybe on their backpacks. Because because yes, I'm, I'm yes. I have to order backpacks, so everyone's. Backpack can have a different number, <laughs> but in Roman numeral. Oh, yes. Like Joyzies. I like love joysies. it. Oh, that's fantastic. 
And we can um, we, all full of, of the, bombs uh, by the sounds of things. All of the selfie sticks can double as electric batons. Yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> they can be. Nice. They can. Nice. They can look like. And all of a sudden, you just pull them out. They become like yeah. whack, just like police whacking whack sticks. sticks. <laughs> and you've yeah. got a, nineteen people all whacking. <laughs> Which could work quite well if you try to like you know like uh, overpower the patrols. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> suddenly, like suddenly it. the tourists take to whacking. Mm. <laughs> it's a whack, 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 and a cute selfie. Yeah, it just goes off. I mean, priorities, priorities. You got to do it for the gram, you know. We're taking over this moon for the gram. Take, taking over. I can see moving forward that I'm going to definitely be spending a lot of time with Effie. <laughs> She's like been trying, like like been so angry for like several episodes because oh, uh, because like you were it. hitting on her dad, <laughs> and, and now you two are building bombs. Now that I know what I know, I mean, that's I mean, it. I won't, I won't lie. I I did choose to make her the explosives expert with pretty much exactly this in, <laughs> in, in mind. I'm I'm taking it. And you, you gave me a bait. very, very good opportunity to introduce her there. I've, uh, I've taken this bait. I like it. Ah, oh, you know, you guys always take the bait. <laughs> well, we are master bait. Maybe, maybe <laughs> not, we not did. entirely true. Actually, sometimes we are you, master you, bait you take takers. things that were not supposed to be bait, and then we run like with Boris? it, and we run <laughs> with like bait. Goddamn Boris! <laughs> like Boris, our new favorite plot hook, the gift. That keeps on giving. <laughs> he is. He is the gift that keeps on giving. I don't regret it. No. Well, we're about to get into a hullabaloo and no mistake. Do we fly at dawn? Well, uh, uh, let me check the uh, itinerary schedule, uh, Trevor. Uh, what, what? What's the... Uh... <laughs> like, Only if the agenda says so. What's the... Uh, yeah, what's the agenda for the, uh, the tour, say? <laughs> Oh, right, right. Um, we were supposed to be tourists. Uh, I would... No, no. Actually, no. We, we fly at mid-afternoon. Yeah, 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 yeah. mid-afternoon, yes. Yeah, Time I to w- check out of the hotel and everything. Well, no. We're coming back to the hotel after the trip, surely. You wouldn't yes. go sightseeing and then get on the red eye? What are you? Some sort of day tripper? <laughs> oh. is, there is there is no actual hotel, though. We, we will be sleeping here tonight, just, just to be clear. What? Yes. Well, are there at least heated towels? I'll see what we can arrange, uh, Herodotus. Very good. I shall need a gin campari for breakfast. And, uh, you know, keep them coming. I'll right, go back well, to the ship and make some more cylinders. Very good. Fried. Oh! I'll start uh, drinking the tin top now, then. <laughs> <laughs> good idea, Doctor. We're going to need our wits about us. Yes. <laughs> and, uh, and uh, Trevor starts drinking his murky sludge as well and making a bit of a face as uh, <laughs> Clan Zark sort of like, you know, all sort of like knocking back their drinks, ready to uh, turn in for the night. And in, in the background you just see uh, like, uh, when you see people putting up like show posters and billboards you just see like uh, a sticky broom putting uh, the new decals on the transport ship <laughs> it just says Zarg Moon ex- expedi- I mean excursions. <laughs> 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 Going nice. on vacation. Tra- trailing off it like, God damn it, how do I change this? <laughs> it's got ex- expeditions crossed out, excursions <laughs> underneath it. <laughs> that works. That's that works. Bad. That's, that's, that's nice. a nice little pan, pan out prior to credits. Yes. Mm. That's it right there. That's how these bastards do. But, uh, well, I think you did swell. I think the, the pre- presentation was a that great, was awesome. great goal. <laughs> It had the um the, the classic like yeah kind of like I don't know there's there's a certain cuteness to Doctor Z that uh it's hard to put into words but it's like it comes through in things like yeah you know, his obsession with like the merchandise and the arranging and and putting on the yeah, this presentation like it just it all seems to fit somehow yeah, yeah. patrons patrons Patreons. Patreons. You're out there, you're doing the good work, you're fighting the goodest fight. You're... You've joined our family. <laughs> oh my oh, God. Creepy. Well, yeah, you have. And now we've got our brain tentacles into your brain and you like us a lot and you don't really know why. And that's because we did something to you. So, hey, cheaper by the dungeon. Cheaper by the, cheaper dungeon. By the dungeon. And Lucas Duff. Duffman never dies. Marcus Brackleman. Broccoli boy. Been scamming his brain for a long time. Fernando Garcia. Ooh, Garcia. Station. 
gas and noodle. Gas station. Noodle whose name is also Dan. Noodle. Would you crumble your noodles or keep them whole? Ooh. Just avoid the maggots. Don't, don't do it. <laughs> don't, don't, always, don't eat them. You know, when it, when it comes to your noodles... That's going to be so out of all, context because it's from the bonus choose. episode. Or Everyone's yeah, heard the yeah. bonus, though, because it's a free one. Well, listen but, to uh, the bonus if you want to get that joke. Mm. But it's, uh, <laughs> it is with noodles as it is with the ship's biscuits. Whenever in doubt, always choose the lesser of two weevils. <laughs> no! <laughs> look at him, guys. Look at him. You Evan looked that. at the ground when he said that. Patrons, <laughs> you, I'm, I'm, you, I'm, I'm, I'm ashamed. But, you uh, paid for that gem with your real money. Uh, yeah. The Abel Queen. Abel Abel Queen. And Nicole Snyder, a.k.a. Nicola, a.k.a. the bastard marketing. Druid. Stru- hey, guys. It's hey, guys. Nicole. It's Nicole. Yeah, it is. And then Randy Lovins. Randy. We love him. God damn it, Randy. There's a, sh- there's a shit there's storm a shit coming, storm, Randy. <laughs> Get a shit, shit wind bringing in the shit rain. Oh, my and God. I'm going to drink all the liquor to weather this shit storm. <laughs> NATO. We don't. Canada, eh? God bless Randy for apparently always living in a shard of reality where a shit storm is happening. And, <laughs> and Ybots 999, Wibbit. the Scottish scent. Wait a bit. Who? You know, if you turn Ybots 999 upside down, you get 666 Toby. Also, 666 Toby. <laughs> no, you don't. That, oh, that's <laughs> kind of true. Oh, you do. Okay, never mind. I hey, see. But Ybots wants to make a, uh, he, he, he's doing a school um, project where he has to make like a, a video on something he likes. And he's making something on tabletop RPGs and he wants to interview us. What? what? Yeah. No way. Right. Well, yeah. Then. Sure. So um, at some point we'll be interviewing with uh, Wybots, who will be interviewing us rather uh, uh, for his school project. So looking forward to that, Wybots. Hell yeah, bro. Let's, we gotta Magnifico. we gotta share the brain cell that day and. <laughs> <laughs> I'll drink water. I mean, we, we 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 must have a thing or two to say about tabletop RPGs. What We've is been that? Doing a podcast for what three years now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's been a, it's been a while. We've been doing this podcast, but we ain't got no table. <laughs> <Fuck>. <laughs> and the last of the patrons is Trevor, and I never say Trevor's last Trevor. name because it's hard. Didn't we pick up a new one? Trevor, Trevor. forever, Trevor, Trevor forever, Trevor Noodleberg. It is Trevor D E. I'm not gonna spell it. I don't want him to go to Caught. identity Caught. theft land. Yes. Four, five, six. Oh my god, we actually we do we do have another one. We do it's, have a new one, yeah. He's called Ben. Oh, oh yes, no. Ben from Gnomacy Podcast. The, okay. The, 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 the ben, gnome. Oh. Gnome. Ben Tooth. Ben Tooth. Ben Tooth. Ben, ben Tooth. Ben the gnome. There's actually more, but once again, I I don't know. What's that ticking noise? That's Ben. He's a metronome. (laughs) He is actually a gnome. He really is a real gnome. And he is from the No Mercy. Oh, that's it. No Mercy. Podcast. Yes. That's the best fucking Mm. name on the internet. That's really clever. Nobody's got a name that good. No. Funky I mean, wee man. do they do do they do more more gnome puns as well? I don't know that, I mean, if no. that's you're never gonna no, beat sorry. you're never gonna beat gnome mercy. That's, are you? I'm sorry, we're done. Okay, good night, everybody. Bye. <laughs> Love you all. Bye. Bye. Fare thee well. Ciao. And connect with family. Tune in next time for another edge of your seat adventure in space with the backwater bastards. If you enjoy listening, but also have eyes, check out our Instagram, where we post drawings, illustrations, character art from our adventures. Backwater underscore bastards. Check out our Instagram on Instagram.